What's up, guys? So, if y'all are my regular watchers, my regular viewers, and y'all care more about vlog type of videos, this is not going to be that type of video. This is going to be more like a, a wheel spacer type of deal with my truck. But since Nima Tech is like a technician type deal, I'll probably just leave it in there. Um, if you don't care about wheel spacers, then you can completely skip this video and stay tuned for the next video. If not, and you're here to actually learn how to install wheel spacers, it's a good thing to include on this video because I actually used to work at Discount Tire, so this is probably the best way to install a wheel spacer. I'm not going to do a review about it now. I'll do it in like a week or two after I've actually ridden on the uh, wheel spacers before and actually like drove on it and see how it goes. So first step first is to obviously lift up your truck or car or whatever you're doing to do and take off the wheel. And obviously that's kind of like a, an easy thing to do. You just gotta get the right socket size and a ratchet and just take it off. Pretty simple actually. So once you got the wheel off, there's gonna be a little um whatever that thing is right there, that plastic piece. That's if you have aftermarket uh wheels and they don't fit on the hub or the the, the center hub, whatever it's called. And if they don't fit there, you'll have a little plastic piece. Go ahead and take that off and keep that. And then now what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and clean off your hub. So just get a regular metal wire brush and just scrub it all and clean it so a lot of people say you don't have to do it but personally I recommend doing it because at discount tire they told us to do that and we do it on every single vehicle so go ahead and do that and clean it up it takes maybe a minute or two super simple once you do it on the hub of the vehicle go ahead and do it on the back of the wheel too so this is where you see me do it on the back of the wheel don't get just the uh, flat part but go ahead and go a little bit on the inside too where the wheel actually rests on top of the the hub, whatever it's called, the hub centric, I don't know. Anyways, once you have all that said and done, go ahead and put on a little bit of any C's. This step isn't 100% required, you don't have to do it, but personally, when I took a auto tech class, they told me to put any C's on every single lug nut or bolt you tighten. So, if you don't want your bolts to rust onto your, if you don't want your lug nuts to rust onto your bolts, go ahead and put a little bit of any C's. Don't like smother it in there, just a little bit will do the job. A lot of places don't put any at all, but a little bit will do the job. So once the indices is said and done and it's on there, go ahead, just grab the regular wheel spacer and just slide it on. And just like that it goes on. So another reason why I got the Bora wheel spacers is because it's hub centric, that's what they call it. It's a little piece that hangs out there in the middle where the wheel actually rests on. The reason I got I like these spacers more because the wheel actually has a place to rest on, not just hang onto the wheel spacer. So go ahead, once you put the wheel spacer on, put on the bolts it will give you. I believe it's a size 19, I'm not 100 sure. Go ahead and just put them on, hand tighten them with your hand, get them as tight as possible with your hand. And once they're as tight as possible with your hand, get a friend to step on the, the brake of the vehicle, and then go ahead and just tighten it down with the regular ratchet. And Tighten it down to like snug where it's like kind of hard to push down, but it's tight enough to hold the wheel spacer 100% aligned. If you don't know how tight to go, just get a torque wrench and go up to like 50 or 60 foot pounds and just go each one to like tight enough to hold it. And once it's fully on there, up to like 50 or 60 foot pounds of torque, then go ahead and actually torque down the wheel spacer. And uh, each vehicle is different. My vehicle is 140 foot pounds, so I have to put a lot of pressure and a lot of force. But the one thing to remember when you are torquing a vehicle, you want to go in a star shape. So you want to go like there's six lugs or six bolts on my uh, wheel spacer, so I go into a triangle form. So always go across and so never go, you know, right next to each other. Once you go into a little like triangle shape and a star shape, go ahead and go one loop around the whole thing, just one click. And that should be ready to go. And once you have your wheel spacer torqued down and on there, go ahead and just put the wheel back on. So putting on a wheel is super simple. Just line up the uh, holes to the bolts. And then the, uh, one technique I used is to put your feet under the wheel, actually, and lift up with your feet and then push on with your hands. I actually forgot to put the little black thing on there. The reason I noticed that because my wheel wasn't aligned with the hub. So my aftermarket rims don't fit onto their regular stock um, stock wheel spacer. So I had to get the little black piece, which usually comes with the rims when you buy them. So once they're, I put the black piece on, I go ahead and put the wheel back on. And once that's on there, go ahead and put on your lug nuts. And I forgot to actually put any seats on the wheel spacer itself. 
So hopefully it won't be any problems, but if you do put a little bit of NECs, that will help a little bit. But if not, it's not going to kill anyone, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, so go ahead and put the lugs on and push the wheel 100% straight. Right now I'm going to tighten it with the ratchet. But once you tighten the lugs with the ratchet, go ahead and torque them down. Again, super simple. Go into a star shape, then go ahead and go one, all the, like one circle all the way around. And you should be ready to go. Putting on and taking off a wheel is super duper simple. It's it's not as hard as it looks. It's really easy. You just got to know what you're doing. Because if you do mess up, you will have a lot of problems. So once I got it all torqued down, I was ready to go. I want to show you how it looks before and after. So there it is. It sticks out a lot farther than before. I'm about to go over and show you before. So this part right here, I'm just going to like stop talking and let you all see and visualize yourself. Right there, as you can tell, how far it sticks out. So wheel spacers went on very well very easy there was no problems i had no problems with it so it went on pretty good i actually live in houston texas and it's like 2 p.m on a sunday so very sunny very bright so that's why it looks like i'm recording in heaven <laughs> it's just super duper bright so the camera was like going crazy so anyways wheel spacers went on easily it weren't too bad if you have any questions or comments comment down below um i'll make sure to answer their questions and reply to the comments I used to work at a discount tire, so this is probably the best way to put on wheel spacers. And if you liked the video, give it a little thumbs up, let me know. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.